Hi guys, this is Walter Admiral of the Pinot development team and today I want to show you how you can create what we call in Drupal terms a sub theme. So a request we get a lot is how do I change <coughs> the way my Pinot site looks. So in the uh, second, the two other tutorials we already covered how you can change the color scheme, how you can add new stuff to the menu, uh, upload new images for your header, logo, but sometimes you really want to take this a step further and the only way to do that is to write code and templates. Uh, so one thing that we really strongly discourage users to do is to change uh, the Opinio core files. So there's a very easy way for you to uh, change the way your site looks without having to hack the, um, the actual template files that ship with Opinion. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So if you go to your <coughs> Opinion site, so now I have a brand new Opinion site. If you go to Sites, All, Themes, you should have here an empty folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sub-theme here. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call uh, my theme. So it's just an empty folder. And just to make it easier, I'm going to drag it to Sublime. So I have an ID to work with. So currently it's empty. I'm going to add a new file here, which I'm going to call the same way as my folder, so my theme, <coughs> dot info. I have my .info file. Uh, the first thing you want to do is give it a name. So <coughs> I'm going to give it a name. You can give it a description if you want. So if you're wondering, Platon is the name of the graphical theme that ships with Opinio. So Opinio is really the, the platform that powers everything, and Platon is what you see on the screen. Um, for this to work, you need to specify with which Drupal core your theme is compatible. So uh, Opinio currently is compatible with Drupal 7, so you need to specify core equals 7.x. And now, something that's very important, you want to specify which base theme you are using. So if you specify base theme equals Platon, uh, lowercase, this will tell Drupal that you uh, want to inherit everything that ships with Platon. So you don't have to rewrite everything, you just override what you want. So if I save my file, if I go back to Opinion here, so now you need to be logged in as an admin, because this won't work if you're a teacher, for example. If I go to Appearance, here you see the different themes that exist, and here you will see my theme. So if it's not here for you, you will see it here. So either you click set default here or enable and set default if it's listed here. For me, it's already in the list. So let me set it as my default theme. So now I'm using my sub theme. You see that almost nothing changes. This is because it inherits everything from uh, Platon, which is what we want. The only thing that's missing currently is the logo because I didn't specify a logo in my sub theme. To make things a little bit easier uh, on myself, I'm just going to copy for now the logo that ships with Opinio. So if I go to the root of my Opinio site, uh, profiles, Opinio LMS, themes, Platon, here you see the logo file. Let me just get this one. It'll make it a little bit easier for us. Now if I go back to sites, oh, themes, my theme, and I just paste it in here. So now if I refresh, boom, now I have to load. So currently this doesn't help us much, so what, what can we do with our sub-theme? Well, let's say I want to add my own CSS file, so let me create a new folder and I'm going to call CSS, and inside of this I'm going to call create a new file, CSS file. Now it's very important that you choose the CSS file name carefully. If you were to call it styles.css, you have to know that uh, Platon uses 
also uses a file called styles.css. If a sub theme has the same style sheet name as the base theme, it will replace the base uh, theme style sheet completely. So if I call it styles, this page will turn completely blank because it will remove all CSS that uh, got inherited. So what I like to do is just call it override. So that way I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, so just to show you what this looks like, let me just give a my fonts a red color. So now I have my CSS file. If I go back to my theme.info, I need to tell uh, Drupal that I have a new style sheet. To do this, you call the style sheets uh, property. Now you have to set for what media type you want to register your style sheet. So you have like screen, print, I'll just use all for now. Then I use the push syntax because it's an array. I put a CSS override dot CSS. Now I save my dot info file. If we get back here, still as an admin, if I hover over the home icon, you see here flush cache theme registry. So if you hit click on it, boom. You see now it cleared the theme registry, so now it knows hey, there is a new CSS file I need to include. It's including it. It does not remove anything from Platon, but it overrides it. So now I have my red font. Looks absolutely hideous, but that's okay. It's just for demonstration purposes. So here you can override the CSS. But what makes this really powerful is that it allows you to override templates. So let's say I create a new folder called templates and say that I want to change the page layout. Uh, I don't like it like this. I want, for example, my logo to be over here and I want this user and search to be on the other side. Uh, I can do this by going back to my root, profiles, LMS, themes, button, templates. So these are the different templates that ship by default. Uh, and page.tpl.php is the template that renders the entire page. So if I copy this and I go back to my own theme template and I paste it in here. Now here I have my page template. So here you see the template that's being used uh, for, um, for rendering the page. So say I want to invert, let's say I want to put the logo after after the search box. So let me save this. So now again, if I just refresh, it won't do anything because you have to clear the theme registry again. So if I do this, theme registry, boom, you see the now? the logo is over here and this is here. So this allows you really to change the way that uh, the markup is generated for each page. You have uh, the possibility also to create templates for specific URLs. So if you create, for example, if I would uh, were to rename this to page uh, dash dash front, this would only get applied to the front page. And there are many other ways, like you can use dash dash uh, user. This would only get applied for user pages, so you get the idea. There's a lot more to this, but I'm going to leave it at this uh, for today, because uh, it's a very vast topic. But hopefully this gives you uh, a good starter, a good idea of how you can uh, <laughs> change the this look and feel of your site in a really advanced way. So, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.